guys. How are you? <laughs> uh, this is Wednesday, May 6th. That's about all I know. <laughs> um, I did want to tell you, I think things might be getting back to normal. Look what I found at Walmart. They had a whole bunch. <laughs> so I got a couple of bottles of liquid hand soap. Ah. Whew. Had the kids all, my grandkids all day, and they just wore me out. And I'm about to make chicken salad and have a chicken salad sandwich and some chips and a Dr. Pepper and pretty much call it a night. But I wanted to stop in and say hi to you guys. Um, honestly, I don't know a thing today. My brain is just scatterbrained. But I thought I would answer one of the questions that you guys sent me and then I lost. I just happened to remember this one. Anne from uh, Minimal, Minimalism by Ann asked me about my children um, and what their names were, how I came up with their names. So I'll tell you that. I have two daughters and two sons. Um, the oldest was six when the youngest was born. So I had four and six years and I had a miscarriage in there. <laughs> ah, there's Toby. Um, my oldest daughter, her name is Becky. Um, she was born seven years after I first got married. If you watched my wedding video, my 1972 dream wedding, <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> I was not pregnant when I got married, <laughs> even though I threw up. <laughs> and I waited seven years <laughs> before I had one. Uh, I named her Becky. Her, her name is not Rebecca, it's Becky. And I named her after my childhood friend. I lived on this block um, that was all vacant lots, mesquite bushes, if you know what a mesquite is. They have huge thorns on them and they get beans in the spring and um, they're typical here in the uh, southwest. Anyway, uh, there was the house with the lady with the pretty yard that didn't like me even looking at her flowers. Then there was our house, and then there was a house that an older lady lived in, and I never saw her outside of her house. So there were no kids on my block, and uh, I was pretty lonely. And finally, somebody built a house behind us, and the family had a daughter named Becky that was a year older than me. And Becky and I became fast friends, and it was so fun to have finally have somebody to play with outside. Uh, so anyway, that's how Becky got her name. Her middle name is Denise. <laughs> And I was still, I mean, it was immediately after birth, they asked me for the name. And so I, I said, Becky Denise, and they, and they said, how do you want to spell it? And when I got to Denise, I said, D-E-N-E-S-E. -E -E. And my daughter's never forgiven me for that because Denise is supposed to have an I in it. But at the moment, <laughs> I had been through childbirth and I didn't know how to spell my own name. <laughs> um, but that daughter hasn't forgiven me for something else. When she was five, she went off to preschool, and the first day she learned something. She came home, she told me she had learned there's something called an only child. And she wanted to be one, but I ruined it because by that time she had a sister and I was probably pregnant with her brother. <laughs> um, anyway, that's Becky, she's 40. The next one is Casey that you guys know. And uh, her name is Kara Casey, and I told you that story the other day. My next, my third child is a boy, and he is named after my husband's best friend. His name is Brent. Uh, my husband's best friend, Brent, they work together, and he used to come by the house and pick up my husband to go to work. He lived several blocks away, but he has such a loud I think it was a Camaro. We could hear that car when he started it up at his house and then my husband could be out of the curb waiting because <laughs> he knew he was on the way. Uh, Brent liked loud cars. My Brent likes loud trucks. <laughs> then my fourth child, his name is Trey and he is not the third anything. I just like the name Trey. <laughs> And that's actually his middle name. His first name is Stephen. Um, 
I knew we were going to call him Trey. I just came up with a, a first name to go with with Trey. And Stephen is sort of after my brother. My brother's last name was Stevens. And, uh, you know, I love my brother. So that's how my four kids got their name. And my dogs, we just came up with names. <laughs> I have, my dogs have always had people named. We have had Fred Schnauzer, Matt Schnauzer, Toby Schnauzer, Maggie Schnauzer, Lucy Schnauzer. <laughs> and now we have Molly Poodle. Okay, guys. I don't know anything else today. It's been a beautiful day. Yesterday it was like 90. Today was a lot cooler. It was, I don't know, probably not even 80. Tomorrow's supposed to be another hor horribly hot day. But today was a really nice day, and I just played with kids, and that's about it. Now it's 20 to 8 my time. I've got to clean my apartment. And I always say, I've got to clean my house. I'm going to have to go in the house, blah, blah, blah. I don't live in a house. I just say that because old habits are hard to get over. Oh, sorry, my nose itches. Um, I live in an apartment, but when I say... Something about my house, I need my apartment. Oh, and several of you ask about me giving away my swing. Well, first of all, it'll be a blessing to my daughter, Becky. It, so that's okay. I had it before I moved in here, and my older grandsons moved me into this apartment, and when they put that swing out on the balcony, it was obvious immediately that it was way too big for the balcony. I mean, you can barely walk between it and the railing without plants. Ugh. Sorry. And uh, the bottom cushion, the sun has just made it rot, I guess. The fabric is all ripped apart and the stuffing kind of coming out. Then it has three cushions that go across the back. And half the time they're inside my apartment because the wind, it's like a wind tunnel that hits my apartment right here. And it blows the cushions off. We have to go chase them down. And um, it would just do better in my daughter's yard. And I have those two blue chairs that I love, and they are super comfortable. I'm going to put a table in between, and I think I'm going to put the cactus in between them. Because I have a place inside the house. I want the geranium so that the wind doesn't just tear it up. And so I will miss my swing. I love to swing. I've had a swing for a long, long, long time. My dogs like to get on the swing and swing. Uh, my dog previous to these two loved the swing. But... It'll just make, be a, make a nice living space outside to have the two chairs, fix the plants like I want them, and everything not be crowded. Plus, there's an outside storage off of my balcony, and I can't even open that door. So <laughs> I'm going to redo the balcony. It'll be fine. And uh, I talked to the apartment manager. I have problems with my hips and my knees. And I have fallen on the stairs a couple of times, and so my doctor gave me a note saying I need to be on the ground floor. So the apartment complex is going to let me move to the ground floor when something comes open. Uh, I've been on the waiting list for a year now <laughs> for a ground floor apartment, but I talked to the manager the other day, and she said in July and August, a whole bunch of leases are coming up to be renewed, and she's hoping I, she'll have an apartment for me then. So I'm going to start going through things and packing up stuff that I don't use and thinking real hard, do I need to, need to move it or do I need to get rid of it? So I hope I get to move to the ground floor. <laughs> It'll be so much easier with my dogs and everything. Okay, guys, let me know what you're doing. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.